Kids all around the Tri-State get ready to go out and trick-or-treat. Just over a week now, Nine on Your Side has an important warning for parents. There is nothing in Ohio law that says a sexually oriented offender cannot hand out candy on Halloween. Nine on Your Side reporter Jay Warren is live in Lebanon with the story. Jay? Well, that's right. Some cities and towns are passing ordinances that would prevent an offender from handing out the candy, candy but statewide, there is nothing that would prevent that offender from handing out this candy. Now, offenders here in Warren County, if they're under the supervision of the court, they're going to be required to join other offenders in a countywide program unless they can prove that they're at work. As this subdivision in Lebanon gets ready for Halloween, some are more ready than others. And then there are those who are really ready. For Crystal Wyatt and her family, Halloween is a great time. Being able to dress up and be who you want to be for like that year and kids getting to run around and get candy and just the excitement that we get to have with our family. But when I told her that Ohio does not have a law preventing sexual offenders from handing out candy, she was shocked. There definitely should be a law for that because it is so easy for kids to get tempted to take candy or even for the predator to allow the kids to come inside to get the candy. Warren County Prosecutor David Fornshell says the county tries to be proactive. What we have done here in Warren County with respect to those sexually oriented offenders who are still under the supervision of the courts, the courts as a condition of that supervision require them to come in on trick-or-treat nights for programming during the hours of trick or treat. He thinks that it might be a good idea to change the law in Ohio and says even in a county like Warren the current system isn't foolproof. I don't think it would be a bad idea to, to do that. We're able to do it right now with respect to um, those individuals who are under our supervision but that also means that there are folks that are sexually oriented offenders who are not under the supervision of the court system who there, there's not the ability to impose this kind of conditions on. Which is to say that if an offender has theoretically paid his or her debt to society, then again, they're not under the supervision of the court and they could be passing out candy this Halloween. Bottom line for parents, go on your county's website and find out who's in your area. Jay Warren, 9 on your side, Lebanon.